There is a pouring out right now because the bowls are full. That means what you've cried out for, the bowl's tipping on it. The thing that you've been praying and asking God for, it may be deliverance of a spouse, it may be deliverance of your kid, it may be the prodigal coming home, it may just be the mountain of debt, it may be you just a mindset of unbelief. You realize this is our celebration for the month of Av. This is when the Israelites refused to believe the report of the Lord. You realize that unbelief is a sin, right? And so, Lord, we repent for the sin of unbelief today, for not believing your word is true. That every part of it is true. Every part is truth. And, Lord, as we give today our first fruit offering, we're saying we are breaking that curse of unbelief, doubt and unbelief, hardness of heart and obstinance off of our lives today, that we will unabandonedly worship you, serve you in spirit and in truth. And so, Lord, as we give today, I say we're breaking. You know, this is a month where the special grace of God gives you the ability to break generational curses off your life. His blood does it all the time. But I'm telling you, there is a season right now. There is a, you know, sometimes there's just an, you have an easier time sometimes than you do in other times. Have you ever wondered why sometimes you can be praying and you feel like your prayers are never answered? And then the next month it's just pouring out like a river. It's because you got to know the times and seasons of the Lord. And when you began to walk in that Issachar anointing, you stay under the open heaven. And the preceding word that was written of you before the foundation of the earth continues to flow down on you. And you walk in that perpetual word at all times. So we're calling forth a plumb line and an alignment today with that preceding word that you've written over every one of us. That we will fulfill the volume of the book that has been written of us. We break that curse and we redeem the firstborn. Hmm. Promise. Hallelujah.